Chris is making some delicious food. This is... And it's Thursday. And it's oh. Wednesday. And it's well, Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday. This is basically uh, going to be a tikka masala imitation. Meal. With thighs. With chick the I've, I've Once again, de-skinned and de-boned chicken thighs because we had a giant package of them in the freezer. Uh, and so I'm going to add in this little tiny can of tomato sauce. A uh, very little bit of cream, just to make it uh, not pure tomato sauce. With some jalapeno and garlic, which I'm going to add right now. Yum. Chopped jalapeno and garlic. Two cloves and like one third of a jalapeno. Just what we had. We also have rice, which needs to be stirred and taken off. I'm going to add some spices, of course. Like, I'm probably going to add cumin and ginger a little bit. And a little bit of cayenne. And some salt and pepper and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully it'll be good. We'll see. And Giselle is making tortillas. Yes. So here's what it looks like in the end with the tortillas and the chicken and the rice. We're currently watching Sherlock. Lovely. So I promised I would talk about my new review format type thing that I want to do. And I totally didn't film it today, so... I figured I'd just tell you about it anyway, and then I can start filming them, but I meant to do so many things today, and then I just was pretty tired and just didn't feel like it a lot of the day, so I didn't, and by the time I was like, oh, I could do this, I was just like, it's way too late, so, I mean, it's not even that late right now, it's like, um, not even 10 yet, which I know we've been saying is pretty late, and I'm already feeling pretty tired. I'm just saying the word pretty a lot. I'm sorry. I'm already feeling rather tired and I'm ready to go to bed already but uh, how I want to start doing my reviews is just I know some people do like their monthly wrap-ups this way um, but just updating as you finish books because I think it will help me a lot more like remember them so I may have like three different clips compiled into one video or whatever and I know I don't have to share every single last thought about the book that I've had on the book but I like to I mean not everyone of course but I I know I definitely could and sh probably should make my thoughts shorter on the books that I read but I have a lot of thoughts on them so I like sharing them so I'm excited to start doing this new way of reviewing them because I just read so many books so quickly then in the past week I think I've finished I don't know like six books or so I've been finishing about a book a day and so I just I'm always feeling behind like oh I didn't film a wrap-up for three days well now you have three more books to talk about whoops and I shouldn't have to be filming a wrap-up every three days so if I just film the books as I read them then I can just compile them and stuff so that will be my new way of doing it and hopefully I like it better if not I can always switch back but I'm already feeling super behind because I've already filmed two wrap-ups and I'm like oh I have to film like five more and I'm like that's ridiculous so I think this will just be easier for me and rather than having to like spend a while compiling my thoughts on a bunch of books all together and trying to get my thoughts really concise on three books all at once and I can just film one at a time and only worry about one book at a time. I just feel like it will be helpful. What I was listening to today, I didn't listen to that much. I just was not really feeling listening to a lot. Um, so what I did end up listening to today was I listened to about maybe half of Wuthering Heights. I was already, I don't know, like 30% of the way through. Um, now I'm about 70% of the way through and yeah, it's a reread for me. I've read it, I think, two times before. I first read it, I think, six years ago, and I read it with a book club, and I en really enjoyed it then. Not everybody did love it, but I really loved it. It was me and six other people, I believe, um, and we were all around the ages of like 14 to 17-ish or 14 to 16-ish and we chose to read it like we were given free reign over what buddy read and book group reads that we wanted to do together we we're such strange <laughs> we were strange teenagers like what teenagers are actively like yeah let's do a book club and read all these like classics and stuff but that's what we chose to do and I just think it's funny we also ended up reading Flatland by Abbott together which is like <sighs> so boring I hated that book so much and we read like The Red House Mystery by A.A. Milne and 
other lovely things like that. So we read a bunch of like interesting books together and then we also had like a mandatory book club alongside of it where we were reading I think we read the Iliad, the Odyssey, the Aeneid and then we also ended up reading like 1776 by I don't know how to say his last name it's like starts with an M it's I can't pronounce it. We read a bunch of books together my point being is that one of the books we read was Wuthering Heights and I really enjoyed it as I read it then and not everybody did. I think only maybe two of us actually enjoyed it and then I think I've read it one more time since then maybe like three four years ago and it's so strange. I mean this is a very polarizing book. I know a lot of people really don't like it and they absolutely detest the characters and so that makes them hate the whole book. And usually I'm a very character driven reader. I mean I always am. I'm always a very character driven reader and if the characters are lacking then I don't usually enjoy the book very much so I have to have good characters. And when there are dislikable characters in books for me it usually can make me hate a book but I feel like with those books though it's because the character is supposed to be likable and yet they're doing and saying these horrible things. Like the book I finished yesterday, Simply Unforgettable, he says all these really horrible things to her. He like threatens to hit her like th on like two or three separate occasions when she makes him like mad and I'm like that's really the person you want to be with is the person that threatens to beat you. And, like, I think he does actually threaten, like, uh, oh, I'm so angry with you, I could beat you. And I'm like, um, I'm sorry, but I don't want to be around somebody who's so angry they could beat me. Like, what the heck? And just, like, he would say really just problematic things like that, yet we were supposed to be rooting for them to get together, and I was just like, nope not gonna root for them to get together because he's a horrible person like that's not okay and there were just like a lot of things that he said like that and so when characters are like that and you're supposed to like them but they're completely unlikable for whatever reason it usually makes me hate the book but in Wuthering Heights all the characters are completely unlikable and, and actually very detestable but they are meant to be unlikable and detestable and I enjoy that. <laughs> I really love the writing in Wuthering Heights and I enjoy watching all these horrible characters do horrible things to each other and they're also like manipulative and awful and are just like the worst kinds of people, especially Heathcliff. <laughs> Heathcliff is like so awful yet I enjoy it so much and it's so weird because I don't like creepy things, I don't like creep me atmosphere most of the time, and I don't like horrible characters, but for some reason all these things coming together in Wuthering Heights just completely works for me. I do think a big part of that is the writing. I really enjoyed Emily's writing as I've gone through it this time around, and I can't always lay exactly what I love about this book is, yeah, I enjoy it so much, and I my mom hates it. I think two of my sisters really don't like it. One of my sisters does like it a lot, which is funny because she and I usually don't agree on books. When we were having our discussion last night, somebody, either one or the other of us, or my mom or my other sister would mention a book, and my reaction would be, oh, I loved that, and her reaction would be like, oh, I hated that book, or vice versa. Like, I'm I'm coming to realize that we really just don't have the same taste at all and she really doesn't like fantasy and fantasy is my love so like we just don't agree on most things like that and it's just funny that we both come together on our love of this book even though it's not something that I would usually enjoy so I guess my thoughts on this is that I'm just really enjoying getting this experience of rereading it although I don't like so many things about it. I love it all together and if they were on their own or by a different author I would probably detest it but this is just so enjoyable and I'm really loving rereading it. So those are my thoughts on Wuthering Heights. They were kind of rambly. I'm sorry. But now I feel like my brain has completely turned to mush so I'm gonna try to get lots of sleep tonight and I'm gonna try to wake up at like I don't know, 5.30 or 6, depending on when I can fall asleep. I feel like that would be a good goal and a good thing. Giselle's tired, and so am I. So I'm, tired. I'm about to go to bed, but I thought I'd show what she did today. Look at how empty the floor is now. There's not a lot of stuff here anymore. You've seen the last few vlogs for the last few days. This was covered with stuff. We did move that out here, but it's going to be like right here, and we're going to put these hanging shelves 
like over top of it. We still have some stuff, obviously, we need to get rid of, like this suitcase that's been sitting here since we got back from Christmas. Like I said, we're about to go to sleep. I just finished editing some stuff and I've been working on stuff all night. I feel so tired also. Uh, last night I went to bed too late, then I got up this morning a little bit too late. Still got to go to the gym, but did not get to edit the vlog, so I edited the vlog tonight and posted it. And I'm just, I feel so tired, and I, I've gotten enough done tonight to feel okay about about the night. And just only made really good food and watched another episode of Sherlock, which was fun. But I like, I'm, I'm feeling good about the night, and I can go to sleep happily. But I've been like, <laughs> I've been kind of, for no apparent reason at all, just sitting here and watching videos from Disney World because I miss Disney World a lot and I want to be back there. And we went there in 2015, Giselle and I did. It's the first time we spent an, an elongated period of time together. We spent like 10 days together and we went to Disney World together with my family. And it was absolutely amazing and wonderful and magical and honestly one of the best weeks of my entire life and just uh, wonderful and amazing and I just I can't get it out of my head for some reason the past few days which is like going into YouTube and just like sitting here like half asleep just kinda like daisily watching videos on Disney World stuff like watching these walkthroughs and like watching people that are people have, people have been posting these really really high quality like 4k quality uh, videos uh, that they filmed of on themselves on the rides of themselves walking through the parks with like they don't put any music over anything and they just like let the ride be what it is let the park be what it is with the music playing over top of it from the parks themselves and they just give me such a feeling of nostalgia I can't even begin to explain how in love with Disney World I am uh, it just fills my heart up with happiness and so watching these videos makes me very very happy like people even have these like the screen's all blue, so you can't really see that well. But they even have these, like, videos where they're shot in 360, where you can, like, move the camera around as they walk. So I can grab this and move the camera around. It's not completely in 360, it's more in, like, 180. But, anyway, I can, like, watch it. I can, like, watch any direction that I want to. I don't have to necessarily look exactly where they're looking. I can just look around, and it's really cool. Anyway, that's awesome. I think that's it for today, though. The camera is literally about to die. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.